This is about defending democracy. This is no longer Democrats versus Republicans. What do you want your kids to believe in? There must be give and take. This is White Flag with Joe Walsh. War is horrible, even when war is necessary. A reminder today, a pause of how horrible war is. 21 Israeli soldiers were killed in combat in Gaza yesterday. The single largest Israeli loss of soldiers since this war began. 21 Israeli soldiers killed in one day. You know, just a, a, a pause here for us as we get all caught up in politics, the New Hampshire primary, will Trump win going away over Nikki Haley? Will Nikki Haley surprise people and win a close election? Joe Biden, who's not on the ballot, will he win via a write-in campaign? A reminder that in Israel, they are fighting to ensure their very existence, to secure that nation. And every day in the battle in Gaza, Israeli soldiers have been killed. But 21 Israeli soldiers in one day. The single biggest loss of life since the war began. The 21 soldiers who perished, I should add, the names have been released. Uh, Israel is a small nation. Every person is one or two degrees of separation away from these 21. I want you to think about that for a moment in America, a land of 330 some million people. Every Israeli citizen, Israel is so small, every Israeli citizen is just one or two degrees of separation away from these 21. Damn near every Israeli citizen knew these 21 soldiers or knew someone who knew them. all in their 20s and 30s. One sergeant was 40. If I'm reading this correct, all were reservists. All 21 were reservists, which which means that on October 6th of last year, All 21 of these soldiers were living normal lives. And then October 7th happened. And then all these reservists signed up to do their duty. Israeli media reports that two soldiers were killed in a tank that was hit by an RPG Two two two-story buildings in Gaza collapsed on the other soldiers following an explosion. 
so the rest of the 21 were killed when those two story those two two story buildings collapsed on the explosion the idf says the buildings exploded because of the mines that our forces laid there in preparation to demolish them in the infrastructure around Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said it's the most one of the most difficult days since the outbreak of the war. IDF said they will investigate the incident. Israel is fighting for its very existence. It's fighting to survive. It is a miracle of a country. A tiny, 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 tiny miracle of a democracy in an immense sea of tyranny. Israel is surrounded by enemies and terrorists almost on all sides except for the sea. Enemies and terrorists pledged to Israel's destruction. Israel lives like this. On October 7th, those terrorists invaded Israel and butchered and beheaded and raped and maimed and slaughtered and tortured and terrorized and blew up and shot and stabbed and killed and kidnapped over a thousand Israelis. Israel fights every day to ensure that it can survive. 21 soldiers gave their lives earlier today in that defense. May their memories be a blessing. And may we pray for and stand with Israel. Thank you for listening. Remember to listen, share, and follow White Flag with Joe Walsh on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere great podcasts are found. And be sure to leave a five-star review. This has been White Flag with Joe Walsh.